The high price of today's airfares is due in large part to the cost of fuel, which is why manufacturers are striving to build lighter planes with more efficient engines and more seats. The bodies of modern jets, like Boeing 787 Dreamliner, are made from composite materials, usually carbon-reinforced plastic. Some plastic parts created in a 3D printer are already incorporated into the Airbus A350 jet. But the new model, XWB, will be the first with parts printed with titanium. Airbus Emerging Technologies Manager Peter Sander says technicians learned to print even geometrically very complex shapes. Normally, this is a part of a fuel system. It's two pipes in one, and it's normally welded out of ten parts. So in this case, with 3D printing, we have the chance to integrate the bracket of the pipe and two pipes at one and print it in one shot. 3D printing is also a solution when parts are no longer available. Sander says when Airbus engineers needed a discontinued spare part for seats, it was easy to print perfect copies. So we did a redesign in a week and printing in a week. So the redesign itself cost two hours. We took the, the uh, manual drawing, redesigned it and then printed it and put it on the desk one week later to the spare part guys. The technology is developing rapidly and one can easily imagine entire aircraft assembled out of printed parts. Airbus executive Axel Crane says it will take a long time, but notes that in the meantime the number of printed parts will keep increasing. We are investing a lot of money in aerodynamic improvement, in material, in noise reduction, uh, etc. But 3D printing is probably the area with the highest gain over time. As a sign of things to come, the giant U.S. conglomerate, General Electric, says it is investing $50 million in a plant that will print fuel nozzles for its aircraft engines. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.